it is truly sad and for reasons best left uninvestigated for this particular information dissemination broadcast that some sincerely religious people will tell you that the path of the Magi, that using your own innate powers to shape cosmic energy, to utilize your own divine gifts of, of the God force power, or whatever you want to call it, anything similar of a psychic nature is the work of the devil. Dear esteemed viewer, if that is your firm belief, or even if you have the faintest and vaguest of worries, of concerns, I'd be the last to alter your religious convictions, provided you don't ask me to alter mine, to line up with yours, or condemn me to hell. And I will make two replies to those who suggest that the use of psychic power is somehow evil or undesirable. I believe these two statements as sincerely as the denigrators of psychic power hold to their beliefs. And then I'll rest my case and you must reach your own decisions on who is right and who is wrong. If psychic power is the devil's work, then you believe in a devil, and by extension, you believe in God. And on your ground, then the greatest book ever written had God's Son telling mankind, in the book of John, St. John, chapter 14, verse 12, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. And Yeshua, you may know him as Jesus, that's fine. I'm not here to nitpick, I'm just here to reinforce and bolster and provide the confidence that this is the Lord's work that we are engaged in. And Yeshua is the finest example of using cosmic energy, the God force power to work miracles, whether healing or feeding a multitude with loaves and fishes. Does that sound like the devil's work or any kind of prohibition or ban against working personal miracles? The God force power is an updating of psychic power methods, which were drawn from similar sources to the Bible, which is of course Judaic in origin. The techniques of the Magi and the God force power are aligned with old Hebrew religious and mystic teachings which in turn come from the spiritual technologies and traditions of ancient Egypt. And these bear no resemblance whatsoever to, nor are they drawn from any kind of nefarious black magic or similar negative and destructive sources. The God force power that fuels the path of the Magi is cosmic power that is holy and pure. This universe works in a sacred harmony of rhythms and cycles. Astronomers, statisticians, astrologers, biorhythm users, orgone, radionics, and many other disciplines recognize and use such cycles. The stars swing through space, grouped in galaxies. Planets swim around their suns in well-defined paths, and on the inhabited planets, Plants and animals grow in the midst of the ebb and flow of energies that govern the tides of existence. Within that divine pattern created by the divine grid programmer, only one single thing causes pain, turmoil, and confusion. Anything that steps out of line deliberately or accidentally with the supreme swings of natural energies becomes opposed to the tidal cycles of nature. Then, just as swimming against any tide needs extra effort, whoever or whatever is out of tune with the natural pattern meets delays, chaos, exhaustion, pain, and lack of progress. Fortunately, there's a simple cure. Realignment with natural energies makes the pain recede 
and progress begins again. Dear viewer, dear esteemed, most honorable and noble viewer, if your life right now seems chaotic, well, one, turn off the news and tune into the God Force power. But if you're not as successful, happy, peaceful, and harmonious as nature and God intended you to be, then you must be struggling against one or other of the natural tides of nature. So all you need to do to achieve true happiness and harmony is to tune yourself into cosmic energies, into the God frequency, and automatically you will see life changes which place you on a happy path to fulfillment. Because this cosmic energy of the God force is the most powerful force in the universe. This is a dynamite energy. This is a, an incredible, powerful force. It has to be. It provides life for all existence. It fuels and powers this light hologram, this simulation matrix that we're all involved in. But we can hack this matrix through the cosmic energy of the God force, which spreads to the furthermost stars and is in control. It shapes the present and the future. It aligns all of God's multiverse, all of the source. It is the most powerful and holy and pure energy in this entire cosmos. It shapes the present and the future with its immutable laws. Yet you have this God-given tool to carve the results the way you want them to be, applying your mind as God force power. There are ways, there are paths, there are secrets, and they suggest that this roaring torrent of cosmic power of this God force becomes a timid Cooperator, once you put your mind to it, once you have the power of your convictions, convictions, your beliefs, your intent, you will bend easily this God force cosmic power to your bidding, to your will. Right at this very moment, you're like a swimmer about to find a swift current going the way you want to go. But trying to swim against the tide is exhausting, even painful. And finding the right channel to move along makes life easy, effortless, and progressive. That's where you're going, tuning to God force power by using the secrets, by using just the merest power of your belief of accepting this energy, this force, this ability of tuning into the God force power. This puts you right in the middle of creation as a co-creator on your path to the New Earth Golden Age timeline. You decide where you wish to go through the power of your own convictions and belief, shaping destiny with your intention. We're not waiting for it to be done by somebody else. We're taking the power within our own hands. We're already on our way. And even if you have yet to notice the power in your own life, just by resonating with this information, you have shaped your destiny. And it is a powerful destiny, fully in command of your own God force power, the cosmic energy of divine life and divine will and divine destiny. Namaste. Namaskaram.